Oh, look at that. It's, it's me, Jaws Blake. This guy. I have been playing with this idea for a little while about the anti capitalista. Anti capitalista, which is the anti capitalist, and what I think that means. I've been looking for this new kind of feeling that I've been looking for a phrase or a word in which to describe how I've been feeling recently. And I think, I think anti-capitalista might be the best way to describe it. It's that whole concept of like, you can be creative and it's not based on selling anything. Success for it, particularly, is not based on selling anything. It is on the concept of you as the person who is. Recently, someone said to me that they didn't think, as an artist, you would stay an artist if the bills were due. You would do whatever you had to do. And then when your bills were done, suddenly then you become an artist again. And nothing infuriated me more than the concept of that your creativity is only based on your marketability that all these other things going on have something to do with whether or not you can sell something and that in theory is very frustrating in actuality is just wrong I've made so much work and so many artists have made so much work because they wanted to make it. It is nice to sell work. Don't get me wrong. I like, I love having clients. I love having customers. I love the commissions. I love having all these things. This is very true. But the concept that you have to do these things in order to be these things is, is incorrect on every level. There's so many things that you do in life that are not reflective of whether or not you have customers. Art is one of the many things. You are not a failed artist if you do not sell things. You are not a successful artist just because you sell things. Life is so much more complex than that. And so anti-capitalista is the concept of you are an amazing artist whether you are selling art whether you never sell art, whether you never have a customer in your whole life. History has shown artists like Van Gogh and Kahlo and Degas and Gauguin and all these people, like they all made work. And they didn't sell all of it or they didn't sell any of it in some cases. But it's not, but that doesn't determine the quality of the artist. Or, the, or the, not even the quality, the artistry at all. And so we have to get away from that idea. This idea that we are only successful via likes and sales and all these things. Like when you put pen to page and make something or play music or do any of these things and make something, how do you feel? Like, do you feel like when you finish something and it's really beautiful, do you feel good? Whether or not anyone else sees it or likes it or does anything of that nature, like, is it connected in some way to you when you finish it? Or when you're in the middle of making it, does it feel good? Because that's being an artist. That right there is being an artist. The rest of this is a thing, but it's... That is, we have, we have, we have gotten caught up too much on the concept that we need to be marketing things in order to feel like what we do is worth our time. So I ask that you join me in the, in the anti-capitalista movement. We don't have to compromise the art that we make to make so that it's profitable. We don't have to compromise the fact that we make art whether people see it or not. Just think about it. Get back to me. Pen around.